Hello fellow friends, future doctors. Welcome to the first video of Dr. V. So, to be honest, the real purpose, the true purpose of this channel is to learn more about medicine for those passionate about it. We will walk around, we'll experience everything in real life, we'll talk about it, make, I don't know, make presentations, visit places, talk about how we can prevent the most common things we catch, such as the cold, um, learn more about it together. So you might wonder, Dr. V, oh, he's probably a doctor working in some Massachusetts hospital in USA. <laughs> First of all, we're in Canada, we're in Toronto, and I'm not a doctor yet, hopefully one to be. Our location right now is James Gardens Park. It's in Toronto, Ontario. And the temperature outside, I would say, is approximately one degree. One degree Celsius. So much better than yesterday. We had a negative 16 degrees wind chill yesterday. So that was very cold. More about this channel. We're not gonna play a lot of monetization. The purpose is not to monetize. The purpose is not to sugarcoat everything you see, everything we say. It's not to get more views. It's not to get more likes, beg for subscribers. The true purpose of this channel is really to learn, really to explore. And I'll tell you in advance, I may have some bad sense of humor and sarcasm but I guess you'll have to deal with it and right now we're going to feed the ducks and we can hear them right now they have this pond it's not frozen yet and my apologies my dear friends for the camera I got it like about five years ago. I'm not sure about what quality the video will be when I upload it to YouTube, but hopefully it's good. And here are our friends. Now, let's feed them, shall we? So I'll place the camera over here. Get a better angle. Hello, my dear friends. Food. So the ducks are very hungry. And Yesterday I've been reading an article, so let's begin our discussion. Yesterday I've been reading an article about ducks and their shape of feet. And the reason ducks have webbed feet is actually a result of evolution. Previously ducks, well about a couple of hundreds of thousands of years ago, they didn't have webbed feet actually. They had uh, well, they had the same form, same number of phalanges, but without the webbing. And the reason was because ducks mostly inhabited the land. But so came a change in the, in, in the environment that most food was available only more. More food was available in aquatic environments rather than on land. And that's why those who had better feet, better adapted feet, had more luck in acquiring food and reproducing, having successful reproduction. And that's why because of all the advantages ducks have developed webbed feet over time, as we can see on this one, webbed feet and enhances swimming, makes them much better swimmers, and is 
Natural selection right in front of us, guys. Let's try to feed them from our hand. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, buddy. Hi, no? So yes, I'm speaking about temperature. It's much better than yesterday. And right now, today is the 10th of November. 10th of November, late fall, almost winter. And to be honest, this is the time many people get sick. And there's a myth associated with this. Everybody says, oh, um, yeah, be sure to wear your coat. Be sure to, you know, properly equip yourself. Take warm jacket and make sure you take something to drink, something very warm to drink. Or you'll get sick. Or you'll catch a cold. And the truth behind this is... There is nothing related with temperature of the air and the chance of us catching a cold. So let's talk about this, shall we? Right now it's zero degrees and you know, I came just properly equipped with a jacket with, uh, with warmer clothes. If I wore a t-shirt right now, if I wore shorts, there'd be the same chance right now that I'll get sick. And this is why. A cold involves us being um, of us being affected by a virus. A cold is basically a viral infection and it requires for a virus to attach itself to us. Okay, that's it guys, no more food for now. So basically viruses don't they exist everywhere but we have a much higher chance of catching them inside when there are a lot of people. Say it's minus 30 degrees Celsius outside. Many people will say, oh, it's so cold. I will probably stay inside. I'll wait for that wind chill to drop to be much better, to calm itself down, then I'll go outside. Well, now that there are many people inside together with you, there's actually a much greater chance that you'll catch a cold within room temperature at 24.5 degrees Celsius than outside where it's negative 20 degrees Celsius, but much less people. Yes, colds can transfer from one person to another, but the thing is, it's not about temperature. It's not that cold temperature has a direct correlation with whether you get sick or not. It's actually the chance that a virus attaches to you. And viruses come with people. So you're much less likely to get it outside with fewer people in the cold rather than inside where there's much warmer temperature but with much more people. And I'm not saying that <laughs> in the middle of the winter, you know, like your friends invite you over and you say, oh no, no, I'm not hanging out with you guys. No, I'd rather go outside by myself. I don't want to catch cold. No, no. Don't say that. I'm just telling you that just uh, be conscious about this and avoid spending time in huge crowds, especially during the early spring and late fall periods. During these times, the mucus we make in our nose, which filters all of the viruses that enter, that enter our body, it's not produced that much because of the low humidity. And that is why it's also much more easier to get um, a virus or some viral infection during this period of time. If you plan to go outside, you forgot to bring a hat, you forgot to bring your gloves, don't worry about it. Just stay away from a lot of people, especially if somebody is coughing, sneezing. That means they're they already showing the symptoms. All right, so now we will um, head further into the park and see what interesting things we'll find along the way. Comment if winter is your favorite season or not, or which one is your favorite. 
As for me, my opinion changes every season. In the winter I say summer is my favorite season, whereas in the summer I say winter is my favorite season, and so and so for spring and fall. A couple of days ago, I was walking by this very trail and actually saw a woodpecker, woodpecker in one of these trees. It was, I believe, either this tree or here on one of the top branches or this tree. And I was just, you know, moving slowly upwards and searching for those bugs, searching for those critters behind the bark. And I thought it wonderful, it was a wonderful scene. Unfortunately, I didn't have my camera at that time to film it. But as for real life experience, it was the first time that I spotted a woodpecker here in Toronto. So this is the channel which to which we will all contribute. It won't be focused on me. It won't be focused on medical professionals. It won't be focused on one subject. It'll be all of us together contributing. And together we can make a difference.